for uh, it's always like you're always nervous in a way because yeah, new beginnings, new new team. Um, yeah, you always want to leave a very good first impression, so you're always yeah looking forward to it. But it's also exciting in a way and also a little bit nervous in a way. So yeah, we played in Saudi. Uh, and it was going to be a very hot game too there. So I was just prepared for, for everything, tried to take care of body and my mind. And uh, yeah, just tried to embrace the opportunity, embrace the challenge and don't know really what to expect before coming there, but just come there with a lot of good and positive energy. That was, that was the mindset. Yeah, first when I landed, I uh, uh, came at the hotel and uh, First, I, I met the coach uh, in his hotel room. Uh, we had a good chat uh, with translators, of course, but uh, we had a very good chat, um, set the standards. And then afterwards, I knew some of the guys. I played with some of them before at my former clubs. So that was already good. And then, yeah, everyone was so kind. And uh, yeah, give me a really warm welcome. And yeah, from the get going, um, developed good relationships and uh, we knew uh, I, I had to get to know them fast because I was playing some big games with them in a couple of days. So uh, yeah, that was good. It was very surreal already when I was checking the pitch. There were already 30,000 away fans in the in the stands, and then I was already like amazed amazed by that. And then yeah, uh, once once the anthem gone uh, was going, and uh, yeah, I never heard that much noise from an away stand. So that was already amazing, uh, meant a lot to me. And then, uh, yeah, it sort of gave me a lot of ease for during the game, for I have to make those people and my family and everyone proud. I, I had to get used to playing in a different system, of course, and with different teammates, because uh, it's very different than well, how we play at FC Dallas, for example. But uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was a great learning experience too, and I think Every first experience is like if, if it's the all-star game or if it's playing for a national team or playing for a new club, it's always like at the beginning can be a little bit chaotic. But I think it's always very important to get a very good first impression because that set the tone for, for a relationship that you're building. So that was big. Yeah, luckily I prepared very, very good and uh, I knew some ways how he would shoot the ball. Uh, he was their star player, Salem, plays for Al Hilal, um, scored a beautiful goal against Argentina in the World Cup. Uh, I'd studied him, but he had two kinds of PKs where one he stopped and one he went through. And then he stopped and you see me like moving a little bit. So I, I was just praying I didn't like move from the line. And then, uh, but luckily, I, I think I stayed very calm and then just executed the game plan on the PKs and made the save. I didn't saw a lot more of the city, um, but once the game got closer, uh, more and more fans gathered around the hotel every time. And uh, yeah, I definitely engaged a lot with the fans uh, where I could and uh, saw the the media attention that it got every time we went to practice. Uh, yeah, it was just a little bit of a surrealistic experience, but a beautiful experience and a great adventure. I think it's the highlight in my career so far in terms of playing in front of, yeah, your own fans. Like I've played in the, in the IF stadium where there's 60,000 people, but then they're booing and, and uh, like hate, hate you. And this was the first time that they were actually like for us there and uh, yeah I just again I was so calm and I, I just felt the energy and uh, yeah almost like you have to do it for them and that was just great and then luckily the game developed in a way where I could help the team a lot. I think both games were a big mental boost for us towards the rest of the World Cup qualifiers where we could really see that we can yeah, go toe-to-toe go -to -toe with these uh, manifested World Cup nations. Yeah, we could really maybe do it and go all the way to the World Cup here in 2026. That would be yeah, insane and I think what the fans deserve too.